Hey ladies and gentlemen, as of the time that I'm publishing this video, it is Cyber Monday, and that means Dua Fragrances is running a special promotion on their website. All of the links are gonna be down below. And these are two special drops that the CEO of the company, Masam Raza, told me he was gonna be dropping today. They are two boozy fragrances and original creations. They're called Passion Fruit Brandy and Pineapple Brandy. I'm really excited to give you my thoughts on these fragrances, so make sure to stay tuned. Before I begin this video and my review of Passion Fruit Brandy and Pineapple Brandy, two brand new original creations by Dua Fragrances, both of them boozy fragrances, I do want to mention that if you are a fan of fragrance related content, if you like reviews, top tens and more, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. Also make sure to enable all notifications by clicking on the bell icon and give this video a thumbs up by the end of the video if you took something of value from this review, it would really mean a lot to me. And so. I actually recently reviewed a boozy fragrance from Dua Fragrances, which actually happened to be a hybrid. And it was a hybrid of a brandy accord that they made from like a 40 year aged brandy, which is like a $5,000 brandy. I think it was a Glen Fittich, if I'm not mistaken. And they combined it with Crete Aventus or their version of Crete Aventus, which is called Poseidon's Elixir. Now here we have another boozy pineapple fragrance, but surprisingly, enough it smells nothing like that previous fragrance that I just reviewed I'm gonna leave a card to that up here and also passion fruit brandy two really unique original creations I didn't really take a look at the note breakdown just because it was going to be too much for me to juggle uh, being as though it is kind of a double feature video but I'm gonna go off the dome I'm gonna tell you what I pick up what you know notes really stand out to me in my nose let's start things off with the presentation So the first fragrance that we're going to start things off with is Pineapple Brandy. So, wow, this fragrance is super bright, super tart. There's another fragrance by Dua Fragrances called Scorched Pineapple if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if that fragrance is still around. I remember I got a bottle of it a few years ago. I may have even done a review on it. If so, I'm gonna leave a card to that up here. But the pineapple note that really stands out in this fragrance is very similar to Scorched Pineapple. And it has a little bit of a smoky vibe, very different from Creed's Aventus, by the way. But it's a very tart, very juicy, saccharine, and realistic smelling pineapple. So I'm like really Really gravitating towards how natural and how organic this smells and this is not a timid creation this is very loud and gregarious and extroverted so it really stands out and I appreciate that sort of outspoken extroverted nature of this fragrance but at the same time that you're gonna get that pineapple you're also gonna get like the spicy booziness from the fragrance. And in terms of like a brandy, I think the only other fragrances that I know with brandy in the name are, of course, one by Killian Paris, which is apple brandy. And then there's also XO Brandy by Navitus Parfum. The brandy accord in this one smells quite different from those other fragrances. And so I'm really impressed at not just the uniqueness of the pineapple note or accord that's in here, because I'm sure they also have like pineapple liqueur and they usually have a few other very unique ingredients, but I'm also really impressed at the uniqueness of that boozy accord that's in here. A very bright, very tart, you get some ambery facets, a bit of a spicy kick as well, perhaps even a little bit of cinnamon, just adding that spicy sweetness and that really nice flavor to the composition. This one is really, really good. And of course, we also have passion fruit brandy. Now, when I think of passion fruit, I suppose some of the fragrances that come to mind are like Dahab by Kajal or even um, Orza by Tiziana Terenzio, although I'm not into, it's a very fruity fragrance. I'm not entirely sure if it has passion fruit per se. And I also think of Erba Pura by Sospiro. And again, this one, very unique. The passion fruit note, that fruity vibe, that melon cantaloupe slash passion fruit, 
exotic fruit vibe that's in here is very, very unique. I thought to myself, does it remind me of Herba Pura? Does it remind me of, you know, one of these other, you know, fruity, melon, passion fruit types of fragrances? And it really, really doesn't. It opens up very bright, very sweet, not nearly as tart as pineapple brandy. This one is a little bit smoother. And if the sweetness in this one is a seven out of 10, in this one, it's about a five out of 10. So you're still gonna get enough of that sweetness. It, it still has that sweet backbone and it does continue to linger on your skin. The only thing is that it's not as amplified in the opening. And then in terms of that brandy accord, it does smell kind of similar to this one, although I would say in this fragrance, it actually, or in uh, um, passion fruit brandy, the brandy accord smells a little bit more similar to single malt by Killian or apple brandy by Killian. So that one actually does smell a little bit more like the uh, Killian. In pineapple brandy, it doesn't. The brandy accord is like very different from what I've smelled. But this one is very fun, flavorful, inviting, playful. I think on account of the sweetness and the tartness of pineapple brandy, I think this one is a little bit more youthful, a little bit more playful. I think this one is a bit more serious just because you get more of that brandy than I think you do the passion fruit. Although you are going to get a lot of passion fruit in the opening. I think once you give it a couple hours to settle down, you're going to start to get more of that brandy accord that peaks its head through. But... Wow, a job well done to Massam and the entire Dua team, anybody who worked on this fragrance. These fragrances, I should say, very, very well done in terms of unique original compositions. They really don't smell like anything that I've tried before. Scorched pineapple and of course apple brandy might be some vague and loose comparisons, but in terms of the overall olfactive picture, they're both quite unique. So job well done. And I hope you folks have the opportunity to try these, especially if you are a fan of exotic, fruity, boozy fragrances. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, both of these are unique fragrances. Some loose comparisons made, but the overall smell, very, very pleasant. I don't think that the boozy accord is so overwhelming or domineering that you'll feel self-conscious wearing it in public. I think you'll feel very confident wearing it in public. And I'm personally a fan of, you know, both of these fragrances. Longevity on both of them is 10 plus hours. Projection is great for the first two hours of application. Didn't even start to sit closer to the skin until about that seven hour mark. In terms of the versatility, cold weather, I think both of these fragrances will shine in. I think they will cater to somebody who's older on account of the booze as well as somebody who's a little bit younger on account of those sweet fruity notes. I think this one is formal and casual on account of the price point, especially if you can pick it up for a discount like they're doing today, Cyber Monday. And I also think that in terms of the um, gender, I think this is completely unisex. Anybody can wear this one, but that's my personal philosophy when it comes to all fragrances. I personally find all fragrances to be unisex. Presentation, I think is really nice. Small bottle, cap clicks into place, cool graphics on the bottle. My final verdict on these fragrances is if you are a fan of boozy fragrances and you like exotic fruity notes, if you're a fan of passion fruit, if you're a fan of pineapple and really bright, tart, flavorful, sweet pineapple, definitely check these fragrances out. I think there's a lot to be enjoyed here and I hope you have the opportunity to get your nose on these fragrances very soon. So. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me. That was my review on Pineapple Brandy and Passion Fruit Brandy by Dua Fragrances, two brand new original creations. I'm gonna leave a link to both of them down below. Thank you once again for joining me. If you are new to this channel and you took something of value from this video, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. Make sure to enable all notifications by clicking on the bell icon and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you took something of value from today's episode. Thanks again for watching. Love you all. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye.